the Como Audio Musica, the Como Audio Solo, the Como Audio Blue Stereo System, the Como Audio Bluetooth Turntable, the Como Audio Duetto, and the Como Audio Amico. Reviewing your options today on this Como Audio video. Hi everybody, I'm Peter Skiera, surrounded by my Como Audio friends here. And this is not a how-to video, which is what I normally do. This is more a overview, a look down from 10,000 feet at what your different options are for a Como Audio stereo system. We do get a lot of questions from folks asking about how do I know what the right system is for me. So hopefully we can give you some good information with this video and help you decide uh, what is best for you. Uh, there's one thing that's kind of got the core feature set with all of our models if you take the Como Audio Blue out of the picture for the moment. But the Amico, the Duetto, the Solo, the Musica have a bunch of things in common uh, such as the low going to give you FM, uh, Bluetooth, internet radio with tens of thousands of free stations, uh, Spotify Connect, whether you have the free version of Spotify or the paid version, it will work with either one. Uh, there's aux in, there's uh, headphone output, um, they all have a 30 watt per channel digital amplifier, um, they all have nice wood cabinets, sound very good, they have custom drivers, so that's a sort of core feature set with all of our models. But then there are some differences, particularly with the Duetto and the Musica. So if you have a CD collection, it's very important for you to have a CD player, then you'll probably want to focus on Musica because that's our only model with a built-in CD player. But there are other differences as well. The Duetto and the Musica have larger displays than Amico and Solo. So it's a bit easier to see the artwork, a bit easier to see text, um, both Duetto and Musica will give you a little bit better bass response. The boxes are larger, there's more internal volume, so if you want some of that extra bass, uh, you may want to look at those models. Um, another key difference between the two is Duetto and Musica are stereo in one box, so you get left and right channel stereo in one box, as opposed to Amico and Solo, which are mono. You can make them stereo by buying a separate companion speaker. For the Amico, it's called the Amica, and for Solo, it's called Ambiante. Those are wired speakers that connect into the back of the units, and there's a switch in the back that you can flip over to stereo, and that will give you stereo, two-channel stereo, with actual good stereo separation because you've got two separate speakers placed apart from each other. The separate speakers come with an audio cable that's about roughly 15 feet long so you can really get some good distance between the two speakers. If you don't have space for that, you just, or you just don't want an extra speaker, uh, you may want to look at the Duetto and the Musica. You can attach extra speakers to those. Those are stereo as they are. Now if the two separate speakers appeal to you, but you don't want to have a wire running in between them, you can make them wireless. You can get two Amigos or two solos and set the switches in back to make one dedicated left speaker, one dedicated right speaker. You set them up in the free Como Control app and you will have left and right stereo and two separate speakers without a wire in between them, without any kind of delay or, or other issues. So that might be an option for you as well. Uh, in many cases it just comes down to what do you have for space. Do you have the room to have two separate speakers somewhere in your room or do you need an all-in-one kind of a system. Uh, if you're looking for more of a kind of traditional alarm clock radio for your bedroom, you might want to look at Solo. It's the smallest footprint uh, and still gives you all of those great music features. Um, another difference with Musica is, which is this guy here, uh, you get more uh, content delivery options with that system. So, uh, in addition to Spotify Connect, you will get Amazon Music, Deezer, Napster, and Tidal. So if you are a subscriber to any of those music systems, uh, they will interface with the Musica. You don't have to Bluetooth an app to it or connect a cable. Uh, it's integrated, but you do have to subscribe to those services. And uh, you'll be able to use it right from Musica, hear it from Musica, see the uh, metadata and the artwork. 
Um, so that's something that these other models don't have. Um, Musica also has an Ethernet connection in the back, which these other models don't have. So if your Wi-Fi maybe is not quite up to speed, you don't know if it's going to be able to handle a device that requires a lot of bandwidth, uh, you at least have the option with Musica of connecting an Ethernet cable, which you don't with these others. They all rely strictly on your Wi-Fi. Uh, and there are other videos I do on our website where I really go into more detail on the features and how to connect these products. So if you're looking for uh, additional information, you can find these videos on our website. Right now I'm going to pivot over to the Como Audio Blue Stereo System, which is really different than most everything else here. There are some similarities. Uh, it uses the same 30 watt per channel digital amplifier, the same drivers. Uh, it has a similar kind of outlook with a nice real wood finish walnut here. Um, but it is a two-piece Bluetooth stereo system, so you get the extra speaker with it. It is a wired speaker, it's not wireless. And there's a couple reasons why we didn't go with a Bluetooth speaker con to connect to the Bluetooth main unit, uh, mainly because when you're doing a left and right Bluetooth situation, uh, it's not quite as reliable. So we felt that uh, to give you the most reliable signal, a cable would be the best way to go, and it also is in keeping with that analog sound. So that's why you get a wired speaker with blue. But it is true two-channel stereo. So you can separate these, again, up to about 15 feet, get a wonderful large sound stage that's very convincing. Um, now, blue is a Bluetooth speaker, so if you don't need all of these other myriad uh, musical content uh, options like internet radio and FM and Spotify and Amazon Music and so on, you may want to focus on blue. It's just a Bluetooth speaker. It does have an auxiliary input in the back so you can hardwire uh, a turntable or a CD player if you want to, but mainly the content is going to come from what apps you have on your smartphone or your computer. So if you have uh, uh, Pandora or Sirius XM or uh, TuneIn or some other kind of internet radio app, you can stream from that wirelessly to Blue via Bluetooth. Um, I know that there are those out there who feel that the Bluetooth sound is not the greatest necessarily. Uh, a wired connection is most likely going to give you better sound, uh, but you cannot beat the convenience of Bluetooth. It has a 30-foot range and it really sounds very, very good, so uh, I think it's perfectly fine for music that you're streaming from your apps or for, from a, a turntable or a CD player. There are CD players that have a Bluetooth output as well, so you could connect a CD player wirelessly. Um, this will also take an optional battery if you want to bring it outside or, or move it around in your house as will the Amico, which is something I forgot to mention. So if you have a, a patio or a deck or maybe a pool area and your Wi-Fi extends outdoors to that area, um, you can consider the Amico to continue to play those services uh, outside. Uh, but this does not depend on Wi-Fi because it's just Bluetooth. So that's another thing if you don't want to deal with connecting the system to your Wi-Fi network, this is just strictly Bluetooth. It's plug it in, pair and connect whatever device you're using, and you're ready to go. Uh, this also, as you can see, has a clock display. It does not have an alarm, but it does have a clock display, which you can change between 12 hour and 24 hour. Uh, it has a base control in the back here. And as I say, there's other videos on our website that will go more in depth if you're looking for uh, a rundown of the features and how to connect everything. Um, but let me now segue over to the Como Audio Bluetooth turntable. We actually have two turntable models, the uh, turntable analog and the Como Audio Bluetooth turntable, which is this one here. Uh, they're very similar. They look very similar. There are some subtle differences, but the biggest difference between the two is this one has Bluetooth and the turntable analog does not. So if you're perfectly fine with just using an uh, audio cable connection, then you may want to focus on the turntable analog. Uh, it does come with a step-down stylus than what comes with uh, the Bluetooth turntable. The Bluetooth turntable comes with the Ortofon OM10, 
which is a fantastic stylus, uh, great performance for, uh, for its cost. Um, most people are quite happy with it. You can upgrade if you want to, if you want to go online and, and buy an OM20 or an OM30 and swap them out, you can do that. But I would say do some listening with the OM10 first because it sounds very, very good. Um, but with this turntable, you have the option. You can connect it with the included audio cable if you prefer, or you can use the Bluetooth connection. Now, why would you want to use the Bluetooth connection? Well, mainly for convenience. Uh, if you can't have your turntable right next to your audio system to connect a cable, uh, maybe you want to have this where your records are, and maybe your records are in a bookcase, or maybe they're uh, below a credenza, um, and you can put the turntable there, but you don't have room for an audio system. And it's not practical to run an audio cable across the room to your audio system. So that's when Bluetooth comes in handy. Uh, you've got about a 30-foot range again, so you can have blue, for example, on one part of the room and your turntable on the other and connect them wirelessly through Bluetooth. Um, also, some people might use, uh, for example, the uh, Duetto or the Musica underneath their television and connect their TV sound. So you might have that under your television and your turntable somewhere else in the room and you connect, can connect them with Bluetooth. Now in the case of Blue, uh, you can only connect one device at a time. So if you were to connect the Bluetooth turntable to Como Audio Blue and then you wanted to stream something from your phone or your computer, you'd have to turn the Bluetooth off on the turntable and then connect your other device. So in those cases, we often recommend using the turntable analog and connecting it to Blue with an audio cable. And then that leaves the Bluetooth function open for your other devices like your phone or your computer. So just something to keep in mind there. But all of these devices sound excellent. Very good sound quality. Um, fairly easy to use. Uh, this does not have a remote and since it doesn't connect to the internet there is no app. The others have a remote and also the Como Audio app which is free and uh, for uh, iOS and for Android. Um, not to jump around, but one other thing I just thought of for Musica is the remote control that comes with Musica has keys on it, dedicated preset keys, so you can access your presets from the remote. These other models do not. You would have to use the Como Control app uh, to access the presets or use the front panel uh, preset buttons. The last item I'm going to mention is this guy here, which we call the platform. And uh, it's actually handcrafted in Indiana by the Amish and uh, very sturdy, has a nice uh, uh, matte piano finish and it will fit over the duetto. There'll be some space on either side and it will fit fairly snugly over the musica. And this allows you to then put either the Bluetooth turntable or turntable analog on top. So if you are challenged for space or you just want the convenience of having your entire system in one location. Uh, this is definitely a space saver. Um, it helps also to further isolate your turntable from vibration. Uh, nice looking, well built, uh, so that's an option too. So that's kind of a, a broad 10,000 foot overview of our models. If you have specific questions or just need more advice on, on what you think you should focus on, please feel free to get in touch with us. Our email is info at comoaudio.com. We'll be happy to help you figure out which system is right for you. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you want more details, there are other videos on our website that really go into good detail on the features and how to set them up, so you might want to check those out. But thank you very much for your time, for, for watching and listening. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you next time on another Como Audio video.